Hey there, Lickin' Riffers! Welcome back to yet another awesome fingerstyle lesson here on Lickin' Riff, in which I'm going to show you a mellow, beautiful, sweet and slow jazz blues turnaround in the key of E. <laughs> A, that you can use anytime you play the blues in fingerstyle in E. Okay, um, you can play it in a band setting as well, but you need to let the band know that you're gonna play it. So um, the rudimentary version of this turnaround goes like this. Right? It's easier than you think it is and you can change it, yeah? You can turn it into a spicier version if you want, or even a simpler version. Okay, that was a little bit spicier. The simpler version goes like this. because you rarely change between minor and major. You can just go straight down um, with one or two changes. You can also turn it into a wacky, jazzy version, okay? But we'll get to that. I'm gonna teach you all of this. You'll know how to play it. But first, I would like you to know that this lesson is sponsored yet again by Skillshare because Skillshare love Lick and Riffers and they want another thousand of you Okay, the first thousand people to click the link below in the description to get free premium access to all the courses on their platform. And this is a crazy, crazy offer because I can attest you can find anything you want to learn on Skillshare. Skillshare is a platform for online learning for creatives. And you can find anything you want to learn on Skillshare from photography to music production, to illustration, to book cover design, to psychology even, they have psychology courses. You can find marketing courses there. You can learn to draw, to paint, to print, to design. Okay, digitally, photography and video editing classes like the Fundamentals of DSLR Photography course that I took by Justin Bridges or the Video Color Correction course. Anything you want to learn is on Skillshare. So the first thousand of you, click the link below in the description, grab this offer. It's an amazingly generous offer on the part of Skillshare. So thank you so much, Skillshare. And now let's learn this jazz blues turnaround. Now, between the chords, I play the E string, okay, twice, that's it. That's basically everything that's going on on the high string, okay, it's just for question and answer purposes. So I start from B7, okay, B7. Now, I put it on like this, okay, without the forefinger, because then it's easier to just move the finger around. You can do it like this, but I don't know, the little finger is a little bit more convenient on the bass strength because it's small. Uh, so on strings, okay, six, four, and three, B7 looks like this, seven on the sixth, seven on the fourth, and eight on the third, okay? So it's seven, seven, eight on strings six, four, and three. Okay? So you play it, okay? and then you play E, E. Okay? And then I play B flat minor seven, which is all sixes. Okay? It's six on strings six, four, and three. Okay? And then the open E string gives it that jazzy sound. Okay? And then I play a7, which is five, five, six. Right? And then a flat seven. And then it's G7, okay? It's, it's the same going down. It's five, five, six for A, it's four, four, five for A flat, and it's three, three, four for G. Then I play 
F sharp minor seven, so it's two, two, and two. Then I play B7. Okay, B7. Okay, two, one, two. On strings five, four, and three. Okay? Strings three, four, five on two, one, two. It's it's a B7 chord just with the open E string again. And then I play strings three, four, and five with with E7 or E. I prefer to play the E chord with with another E here. Okay, because it kind of resolves it perfectly instead of instead of having the seventh there. I like the E major chord. Okay, to finish. And I hammer on the one on the third string. Okay? Now that's the basic version, okay, with B7, B flat minor seven, and then A7, going down, going down again, okay, to A flat and G, and then F sharp minor seven, B7, and E. Now you can turn the majors into minors and you can create voice leading here. You can start from B minor seven. Okay, you can start from B minor seven, okay, which is seven, seven, and seven. And then go to B flat minor seven. Okay? And then go to A7, A flat seven, G7, and continue the same way. Okay? Now you can also do B flat seven instead of B flat minor seven. And then you have Okay? Then you have B minor seven. Okay? Seven, seven, and seven. And then you have B flat seven. Okay? With six, six, and seven. And then you can continue to A. But you can also do A minor. Okay, you can do A minor seven. Okay? You can change it. You can do A minor seven, five, five, and five. Okay? So you get B flat seven. Uh, B, B minor seven. B flat seven. A minor seven. And then A flat seven. Okay? So you get this. Okay? Okay? And from G on, it's the same. You can do this move on G and F sharp as well. You can do G minor seven and F sharp seven. Okay? So, so it's the same idea. You can do it on each couplet. Okay, so Okay, this is the jazziest version. Okay? Okay? Might be a little too spicy for some of you. So keep it okay, normal. Keep the normal uh, variation. Or just play it at random. Okay, see what you get, okay? As long as you go chromatically on the bass, but pretty much everything will work here if you put your heart behind it, okay? If, if you can feel it and you're confident in your turnaround, then it will sound fine, okay? Um, there's no mistake here, okay? So... random don't don't think I can don't think I remember what I did I, I don't remember exactly where I changed the chord um, again let's start with B7 okay you can go down to B flat 7 okay, you can do okay and then you can do a minor you can do a flat minor as well Okay, so it's seven, seven, minor seven, minor seven. And then you can do seven, seven. Okay? You see, you can alternate 
or you can do couplets. You can do 7-7, seven, seven, minor, minor, 7-7, seven, seven, okay? Now I did the other way around. Now I did minor 7, minor 7, 7-7, seven, seven, minor 7, minor 7. That's the beauty of a turnaround. You can decide how it would sound, okay? Now, it might seem like I'm overcomplicating it, but it's not. It's not complicated at all, if you think about it. It's just chromaticism, going down one bass note at a time, one half step. And you choose whether you want to play a seventh chord or a minor seventh chord. That's it. That's it. And the last two chords are always the same. It's B7 and E. So don't worry about it. Just try it. Okay. Now, the simplest version you can play of this is just sevens all the way. Just sevens. And it sounds wonderful as well. Just from B7 down to F sharp seven. But there's nothing really jazzy about it. It's just a blues turnaround, but it's still wonderful. Okay? You don't really have to complicate it, but you can. So I'm gonna give you another demonstration. Okay, I'm gonna do a couple of rounds. stand behind your turnaround and you don't hesitate, then anything you play is perfectly, perfectly fine, okay? because it's your music. Thank you so much for watching, thank you Skillshare, and I will see you in the next video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and thank you for watching. Bye for now. Enjoy!